Hey everyone, it's Brett from Hope to Prosper. And I'm here at the beautiful Kern River, going mountain biking with my buddy Eric. And we're gonna go cruise along the river. Enjoy the day. All right, thanks for coming along. I'll talk to you in a minute and tell you what's on my mind. I wanted to talk to you today about your freedom number. How much money do you think you need to retire? And how soon do you think you can get there if you haven't retired already? The reason I ask these two questions is because a lot of people work extra years at their job when they could probably afford to retire right now. Um, either they just don't know it or, you know, sometimes they have a fear of retiring or they have a misunderstanding of how much it actually takes to retire and they just don't want to deal with it. And so I don't want anyone to waste any of their precious time. And so I would, thought I would cover this important subject in a basic way that anybody can understand. So let's start with item one. Is your freedom number arbitrary? <laughs> uh, mine was. So like most aspiring retirees, I thought I needed a million dollars in order to retire. And to be honest, I just came up with this number off the top of my head 33 years ago. And, you know, back then a million dollars was a lot of money. I thought that would cover everything and then some. Um, but eh, it doesn't go as far these days, you know. Where I live, it won't even buy a tract house. Uh, in fact, it probably wouldn't even buy a condo or barely buy a condo. Uh, it would barely generate enough money to pay rent around here. Uh, but back in 1991, you could live pretty well on a million dollars. you probably buy three or four houses, to be honest. Um, but inflation's really changed the game and it's made retirement a lot more difficult for many. Uh, I feel for people coming up because it's just getting harder and harder. And the pr problem with using an arbitrary number, like a million dollars, uh, it just has no correlation at all, absolutely no correlation, to how much your actual living space expenses are going to be. Not only now, but for the next 30 years. And that's different for everyone. Uh, it also doesn't take into account your income and your forms of income, like rent, Social Security, or a pension. So a million dollars may be a, a lot of retirement money for someone who lives in a low-cost area and maybe has worked in the public sector and has a pension. But for someone who lives in an expensive place like me and your house isn't paid off and you don't have other sources of income, a million dollars may come up short. So picking an arbitrary number is pr probably just not a good idea. Uh, it's, it's something that... Uh, uh, I don't recommend. And, and also, one size doesn't fit all. Everybody says you have to have a million dollars. That that works for some people, and some people doesn't. So I didn't reach my million dollar goal for retirement. If you've watched my videos, you know that I had to retire on less, right? And luckily, after I chose a five percent withdrawal rate and put together a basic retirement plan, uh, that allowed me to retire with some confidence. You know. And um, I, I didn't have to worry so much. But had I waited just until I hit my million dollars, I would have blindly worked another couple of years. And to be honest, my retirement income wouldn't have changed. I'd probably be taking out the same amount as I took last year when I made 900, when I had 900 and some odd thousand. So I'm glad I saw past this trap and decided to retire despite not having a million dollars. Uh, that number really was arbitrary and it was it was relevant, but but it wasn't absolute. Oh, I just want to take a second to thank all my new subscribers and welcome you to my channel. I hope this information helps you out in your quest for your own retirement. And if you have any questions or you want anything covered, uh, just drop a comment below and I'll, and I'll see what I can do. The next question is, next subject, have you checked your freedom number? So I found out mine was arbitrary, um, but you know, how about yours? And I know this sounds obvious, but if you checked your freedom number lately to still see if it's still relevant, you know, everything's gone up a lot in the last three years, and some of the affordable places to retire are getting a lot more expensive, uh, like Texas, Florida, and Tennessee, for example. So have you created a basic retirement plan and run the numbers? Uh, have you looked at all of your expenses and looked at all your income sources? You know, will your freedom number and your other income sources even fund your retirement? Um, that's something that's really important to know. If you aren't sure about this, you probably won't be able to retire with any amount of confidence or peace of mind. It's something you kind of got to know. And I struggle with this a lot, so I recommend everybody check your plan. Um, 
You can create a simple plan with FI Calc for free, or you can use something like New Retirement for an annual fee, or you can also hire a fee-only financial advisor if you want to talk to someone with more, more experience in this area and get a comprehensive plan. Either way, don't just guess at this important step in the process. It, it really is critical. Let's talk about the last subject. Are you choosing time or money? And this is a, this is a good question. You know, sometimes I think about the money I left on the table by retiring at 58, but I also think a lot about the time uh, that I gained back by not continuing to work until I was 67. Uh, th this is an easy choice for me because I already have enough money to retire and I don't have to work any longer. But for some of you, um, you know, it might not be as such an easy choice. You, you might have to take a lot less income to get that time back. So after you've checked your plan and met your numbers, which are you going to choose? More time or more money? I know people who've chosen more time, including myself, and I know others who've chosen more money, even though they could afford to retire right now. In fact, I have a couple brothers who uh, could probably hang it up now, today. Um, they got plenty of resources, but they're going after it, and uh, I can't really fault them. <laughs> uh, I understand why, and sometimes I even like to talk to them about why they've chosen more money instead of their time. Um, maybe to see if I'm missing anything or see if they have a perspective that could be helpful to me. Uh, if I find anything out, I'll let you know, trust me. So because nobody knows how much time they have left or how well their money will last in retirement, there's no perfect answer that's right for everyone. Um, it's basically an educated guess. So let's wrap this up. So we'll make it a short one. In conclusion, in the great debate about time versus money, the only opinion that counts is yours. If you're able to retire comfortably, and that's what you want to do, then go for it. Don't let fear or uncertainty keep you chained to a desk. And don't let others tell you, oh, you have to retire at some certain point, or you need so much money to retire. Yeah, ignore all that. Do what is right for you. You can always make more money, but you can't get your time back. And so that's something to think about. There is one limiting factor, and that is that time is finite. Uh, if you like your job and want to keep your working, go for that. There are some people that just wouldn't be happy fully retired, so they like to keep their job. And, you know, you can always change your mind later, and you could quit or you could cut back your hours or, uh, you know, reconfigure yourself to have more freedom and then also work. Now, I, I fully plan to semi-retire and find some work to do. Um, but as time went on, you know, I'm really starting to enjoy my free time and the lack of responsibilities. So I've chosen time over money. I don't miss the additional income I had when I was still working. And I, I think I made the right choice for me. Okay, thanks for coming along. Appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoyed the content and uh, this week's little adventure. So... I wish you all health, happiness, and prosperity in your lives, and we'll see you next week on our next big adventure.